an expensive HD camcorder off Amazon. Let's see if it's any good. Hold my Yoohoo. Today we got a camera shootout. We're taking this sub $130 camcorder from Amazon that's got the wide angle and macro lenses, flip out screen, external powered microphone, full HD resolution, and comparing it with the camera that you're watching right now, which is on my Galaxy Note 9. So last generation, high end smartphone, um, does pretty well. Not happy with some of the focus on it. You've probably seen it in some videos where it'll kind of pulse the focus back and forth. So see if this thing does any better. I'm all for improving the quality of the videos that I'm giving to you. And just for kicks and giggles, we're going to also compare it to some older tech that I got around here. I got a Nokia Lumia 1020. So it's a Windows phone. Uh, it had this monstrous 41 megapixel camera on it, did full HD resolution, all that kind of good stuff. So we'll see how this uh, beast of a camera phone uh, from yesteryear does, as well as this HTC little flip out Windows phone that, <laughs> goodness knows, I, I don't even know what the resolution on this thing is. So we'll uh, see how that goes. And last but not least, this little flip video camcorder that my coworkers got me eight years ago. Should be a lot of fun comparing these and we'll see how they do. Thanks for watching. First record we're looking at is Red Earth and the Pouring Rain by Bear's Den. This is one of my favorite records. I really like the sound of it. It's got a very rich sound. Um, it's got a little bit of that kind of synth wave mixed with folk music. So it's a very odd combination. I highly recommend that you check it out for yourself. Um, you might hate it, you might love it, but at least it's different. Uh, so for this one, I actually listened to three different tracks. The first track I listened to was Red Earth and the Pouring Rain. Um, that's an outer edge track, so it's on the outside, which means that it's got the most detail of the tracks on, on the record. And it sounds great. It sounds great with the weight. It sounds great without the weight. I really didn't notice any difference. Now, I did listen to a couple of tracks that are closer to the inside. Uh, Gabriel, Gabriel and Napoleon. Now, those are the inner tracks and... With those, I actually did start to see a difference. Um, in Gabriel, uh, the, the bass uh, that's in there uh, created a little bit of distortion with the voices without the wake. Yeah, I'm ready, man. Oh, that's sweet. Can I keep on doing this? Yeah, just go ahead. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. All right, switching to Trinity. Oh, got the Papa Wheelie. Woo. All right, cool. Ooh, one foot. All right. Oh, 
<laughs> One more test here. We're testing all of these devices, trying to record myself in basically selfie mode if they have something of that nature. If not, then it's going to be flipped around the opposite direction, pointed at me, hopefully recording me. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we're also going to be testing out the mic and how well it picks up on my voice with all of this background noise behind me. Uh, we do have the arcade one-ups at the medium volume and the pinball machine and the home-built uh, arcade machine are at approximately the same volume here. So we'll see how this all turns out. The Galaxy Note 9. The other day when I was at this store, a guy threw milk at me. How dare he? Yeah, okay, there you go. So there's some audio, see how it does with the background. All right, Nokia 1020. How do you know when you shouldn't eat cheese? When it's nacho cheese. All right, hopefully you heard that, I don't know. Flip HD camcorder, so uh, I can't see if this is actually pointing at myself or what it's really capturing, so hopefully it's got me. How do you know when a joke is a dad joke? It'll be apparent. Yep, all right, there you go. All right, camcorder off of Amazon, uh, yeah, so first, First off, the screen is not mirrored because it's not really a selfie mode, right? So it's just kind of flipped around to me. That's making it really kind of difficult because my movements are backwards from what I see on the screen. So that's interesting. Um, at any rate, I recently started learning to read in Braille. I, uh, I'm reading a horror novel. Something bad's about to happen. I can feel it. Yeah, yeah, okay, there you go. I can feel it, right? All right, all right moving on. Here we are with another Final Thoughts. This time, on the Video Sky camcorder. An expensive camcorder off of Amazon? There's a reason. This thing's junk. The video quality's awful. The color's awful. The sound's awful. Don't buy this thing. I'll put the link to Amazon in the description, so if you do want to see for yourself everything it comes with, you can check it out. I also do have an unboxing as part of another video where I did take this thing out of the box, show you all the accessories that came with it. I'll link that in the description as well, but don't buy this thing, please, please don't. In addition to reviewing the camcorder, I also wanted to compare it to some other tech, some older tech specifically, one of which being this HTC Windows Phone. I can't get the videos off of here. You need Zoom software to be able to sync it to a computer. They don't make Zoom software for new computers. so. Out of luck, shot a bunch of videos, can't show them to you. Sorry. Another piece of older technology, you got the Flip HD camcorder. This thing's eight or nine years old. Honestly, I think it might look a little bit better than that camcorder. I think it might sound a little better too. Just goes to show you how lousy that thing is when something that's eight or nine years old hangs with it, if not beats it. Another piece of dated technology here, the Nokia Lumia 1020. Hey, this thing actually came out surprisingly well. The videos on it are pretty good. Sounds pretty good. This was a top-notch camera phone when it came out, but that was a while ago. It still holds its own, though. It's not as good as my Note 9, which is what you're watching right now, and it's a clear winner, but, man, that's an expensive phone. So, this thing, under 100 bucks on, on eBay, but, I mean, it's an old cell phone, so the battery life on it's going to be poor. I don't think I'd recommend that you run out and get it, but it just shows you that you might have something laying around that would do better than this camcorder, so... One more reason, don't buy that camcorder. I guess I will continue to use my Note 9. I mean, it serves me pretty well. I just, I'd like to use something that's not my cell phone. I've heard good things about the Elves. I might give those a shot. Um, I don't know, if you got any experience with them or any experience with any other cameras that you think would work great for me, Please let me know. I, I'd like to hear about them. Put it down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you have any questions, go ahead and put those down there too. I'd really like to answer them. Well, thank you for watching. If you've liked the video, which I hope you have, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more of my stuff, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks again. Have a great day. Okay. All right. No farting on my video. <laughs> Ah. <sighs>